Wow, guess what? I'm leaving for my first 15k ever! And you bet I couldn't be more excited! Also nervous, because will I be good enough? But more excited for sure! For next week and the one after, I sign up to two tournaments Manacor, Spain, and Monastir, Tunisia. You can actually sign up to up to six tournaments for the same week and mark the priority for each of them. Then choose later, by what's called the freeze deadline, which one of those to attend. We chose those two destinations mainly because of the flights, not endless and not too crazily expensive. On Monday, after checking my position in the acceptance lists and previous quality draws, we decide Tunisia it is. I'm still an alternate, which means that if all the people ahead of me go and sign, I won't make it to the quality. But usually it's plenty of alternates in the draw, so there is a chance. We booked the official hotel of the tournament via email, buy a one-way ticket to Monastir for Thursday and voila, everything's ready. It's Thursday and here we are at Helsinki Airport ready for our controls. We have just checked in our only luggage and honestly I cannot wait to sit on the plane and sleep. We got up at 4.30 am so you can imagine I'm in zombie mode and I need to be in my best shape by the time we land in Paris because we have no intention to spend 7 hours at the airport. The flight goes smooth or at least that's what I assume. My sleep depth is no longer humongous and yeah it's time to kick off our express exploration of the city of love. We park all our stuff in the luggage storage, hop on the first train and ta-da! Here we are in Paris! sacré -Cœur and Montmartre are our first stop and no wonder how beautiful is the view from up here. I could sit here and stare at the horizon for hours. Then quick lunch at McDonald's, metro to Trocadero and there you go! the most iconic view of Paris, the Tour Eiffel. We suck in all the Parisian atmosphere we can, practice a bit of French here and there, and oops, we are almost late. The train back to the airport takes at least twice as long as before, and oh my goodness, we have to run like crazy to check in on time our luggage, but yes, we make it. The flight goes super fast once again, not because I sleep, but because I chat non-stop with my Tunisian neighbor, and in no time we find ourselves in Tunisia, we are super Super tired and hungry and thank god the hotel staff seems to know it and left us a warm meal in the room so nice of them it's friday morning and wow this weather is awesome and the hotel is huge and everybody's so nice ah, i wasn't expecting it to be like this first impression this place is a kindergarten for tennis players oh my god can i move here zero time wasted on cooking no traveling to the courts no need to do the laundry gym and pool at your doorstep is available whenever you need practice courts, balls, in two words, no worries. Wow, so cool. Friday goes by super fast, bit of fitness in front of the pool, lots of resort exploring, countless matches watched, a visit to the physio, some heating after a wonderful sunset, crazy. I still cannot believe we are here, it's so surreal. It's February and I'm playing outside, on hard court, gonna get much better than this. Saturday is signing day and I'm so excited. And my tennis even feels reasonable now that I hit a few times under the sun. The sign-in closes at 6 pm, so just to make sure there's no surprises, at 5 pm I get into a mini queue in the lobby of the hotel, say my name and pay. After dinner we get back to the lobby to see if the draw is out and I can ask my name again just to hear, but wait, you are not in the draw. Did you sign in? Turns out I had just paid but not actually signed in. Oh no, I cannot believe I did that. Everything I would have expected except this to happen. Such a damn ass I am. The tournament director is not only sorry, more than that. So I find myself almost comforting him, saying that it's okay, it's not the end of the world after all. Deep inside though, I wish I could dig a hole and just disappear. But hey, lesson learned. The sign in consists of a actually you signing on a piece of paper. And who knows, maybe this is a blessing in disguise? One thing is for sure, next week I'm gonna put my name on paper. Hope you enjoyed this video, if so smash the like button and subscribe for more tennis life and I'll see you in the next one!